I've been able to decrease by uh, like 0.2 to 0.3 of a second of how fast I can actually get the ball out of my hand. I would definitely endorse it. 100% it's going to work. Like, like I said, I think the model you created creates that daily consistency or even every other day. And it sets up opportunities for that the kids have to journal. So they're mindful of what they just did. I'm Cody, junior year catching now. Came into this program looking for more advice on my pop time and a little bit of receiving. Yeah, I'm Cody's dad, Mike. Just excited to be able to find something that we can really bring his skills to the next level and have the opportunity to help him out in that journey. Well, you guys have fired me up, but Cody, why don't you tell me from your playing perspective, what was the big struggle that you were having? The biggest struggle for me was in regards to pop time, either didn't have enough on my throws to be able to get a runner out. I wasn't quick enough with my movements to be able to have the chance to be even able to throw someone. And then receiving, it was more, I was just trying to focus too much on just using my hand while I was shooting, not focusing on the whole body and the other parts of my arm that can improve my receiving. Cool. Was any of that causing you any stress? Because you want to go play in college, right? The pop time not being fast enough was like, oh, we kind of need this in order to hit oh. our goal. Oh, yeah. It was something I was always thinking about in regards to baseball and getting into college was trying to get that down, trying every way possible that I could think of to improve it. And how did you guys find out about me? How did you discover me? I discovered on Instagram. Do you remember what the first video was or how long ago it was? I actually think it was a joint video that you had with, is it Coach Rack? Uh-huh, Coach Rack. It was one of those videos. That... That's awesome. And how long ago did you find out about me compared to, what, about 10 weeks ago that we started working together? Yeah, I would say it's been at least a year. Maybe, oh. yeah, about a year we've been following, yeah. What was the biggest doubt that you had about what it would look like to work together, whether it would work, how online stuff would go. What was the biggest doubt that you had? For me, it was more if I was just going to hear the same things that I'd hear from my coaches at where I'm playing baseball right now. It's just going to be the same thing. It's going to be like the wider scope, not the tiny details. That was more my word. Yeah, for myself, it would be, uh, there's a lot of information out there on social media. So you just don't, you're, you're not quite sure if it would be the right fit. And we've never reached out for coaching in this manner before. It's always been private lessons. So it's a bit of a, a jump at that way. And then, yeah, I would say that was probably the, the biggest thing. Cool. So whether the information would be general or specific, and then you had never done any online stuff before. So you're like, okay, how, how is this going to work? Uh, now, once you join the program, Cody, from your perspective, what were the things that we began to implement right away? Lots of working on the like, fundamentals of each thing, building up from a small level, like small movements, like how we started with no ball. It was just more focusing on your movements and then building it up from there was something that I actually really enjoyed doing because it helped me focus on what I was actually doing before I'd receive a ball or release a throw down to second or any bag for that matter. That's cool. Had you ever had it broken down that much before? Um, I'd done stuff with my coaches before where it was like videoing and like looking at what like um, triple threats was, how we're catching the ball, but not a lot of it was just working straight from the movement and then to a ball and then to putting it all together. It's usually just starting with the ball then. What type of impact has that had on your confidence in terms of like the actual process and the work like what have you seen from that it's definitely helped me more now knowing that what i'm doing is building up to something it takes little steps at a time it's not like one big jump right away and just having the confidence to know that it may not be working right now but the more i do it the better it will get yeah that's awesome and mike how much of the time were you helping him versus him doing it by himself what did that time look like yeah it's actually turned into a family affair come on both myself my wife cody's older brother we're, we're all out there every night with him either someone's working the camera for the recording someone's doing the tossing for him or in the case when he has to throw hard i can't catch in his throws anymore so we need his older brother to do that for us so yeah it's been great we've been able to see and learn what he's working on each day 
and, and the little nuances to it. Uh, and then just being able to participate, hang out, have some laughs. I think you've seen a few family dogs show up in the videos. That's awesome. Gosh, that's so cool. Also, how has that been like for you as a dad? When you see the whole family doing this, what goes through your brain? It's both awesome and embarrassing because I'm the least athletic of everyone. So I get picked on a lot. Yeah, it's fantastic. Different yeah, it's athletics. Been, it's been great. That's really cool. I, I got to say, getting the results on the catching side is very important and very fun. But that kind of stuff just fires me up because I have a one and a half year old daughter. And what I hear from everyone is like, goes fast, man, like take it in. And to have the whole family rallying around, gosh, that just that fires me up. But now, Cody, let's talk about some results. What kind of results have you seen from catching based off of what we've worked on together? For more specific numbers part for my throwing, I've been able to decrease by uh, like 0.2 to 0.3 of a second of how fast I can actually get the ball out of my hand. And even within that time, I've been able to clean up the way I throw and the way I'm actually moving, being more efficient with my body to be able to do it. And then even with receiving, it's just simple. Like now I'm not thinking as much of what I'm doing. A lot of it is just doing the movements, being smooth. doesn't feel like I'm trying too hard to actually catch or frame a ball. Yeah, let's go. Mike, what, what have you seen from the results side? I've definitely noticed more confidence and in his different positions. It, it's cool seeing him with that one leg out and seeing him actually apply it in practice and in some of the, the games. I've noticed his throws to second are getting there a lot faster, which was great. Just off the top of my head, I want to say you were at like a 0.9 to one second release time at the beginning, and now you're pretty consistently at 0.7. And I think you've even flashed like a 0.58 release. We've continued to work on the throwing mechanics side and stuff too. And I just got to say, it looks so much better. And now it's not just the time that's down, but it's like getting the time while moving correctly. We still got to work on the legs, but from what we did today, I'm like, I want to see a video right now because based off what we did today and how you looked, I'm like, dude, that's going to be nice. Now we talked before about some of the stress of like, okay, I got to get this if I want to go play in college. Do you feel like what kind of relief do you feel around that now? Um, I haven't really seen the final result for my part time. So still a little iffy about that. Probably be a lot happier once I see that. But what I'm seeing now makes me a lot less stressed about can I get it? Will I be able to? Will I be able to make it to the place I want to because of this? And then now it's just more I can relax more, focus on what I'm doing and then not have having to think about the future, just being yeah. playing the man. Where do you want to go play? For me, my dream school, because I also I'm like very academic student is Stanford the most. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Maybe the Stanford coaches will watch this and uh, I will vouch. I haven't coached uh, Cody super hands-on in person, but from everything that I've seen, he's been all on top. He's been on top of his recordings, his videos, and he's made some crazy improvements. So when you get the right coaching, on him he's got a good body too he's got the good brains for it so we'll, we'll let the coaches do what they will but I'm impressed with you very much who else would you consider to be a good fit for this type of program i would say someone who's very coachable someone who'll take their feedback and use it and just someone who really wants to strive to be better like all aspects of their game not just for me, like I came with one thing, but I've been able to like improve everything I'm doing. You may want to just do one thing, but having the drive to know that I need to get better at everything. And Mike, what would you say from your perspective as a parent? Yeah. You know, one of the things that I was a little nervous about when we first were con considering it and deciding to uh, to reach out to you was because in some of the social media, kids are a bit younger than Cody. Uh, like maybe just starting out in the younger age. So I wasn't sure how it would work and if there was opportunity for catchers that are in high school. But after our first meeting, it was clear that uh, this definitely could work great for kids that are a bit older. Uh, we're a huge fan of consistency. And I found like when you do private lessons or a lesson once a week, it's almost like you're cramming. And then it's on the kid to keep working on it, the athlete to keep working on it throughout the week. And you don't know if you're working on the right thing and you might be missing some of that practice time on your own. What I love is this is great for building consistency for the kids. 
for the athletes because you got to do something daily, but it's only like 15 minutes to half an hour, of like concentrated effort, which goes by in a flash. But then I'm like, wow, Cody, it's been like two months and you really haven't missed a day. And if you were to put all that together, it's like hours and hours of consistent training, but you get feedback every day. And then you teach them how to analyze and provide feedback for themselves. It's just been phenomenal for us to see. I really appreciate that as I gave my full endorsement for you to whichever coach watches this video, but the consistency I've been really impressed with, because again, I work with a, a lot of different players and I do think that again, because you're older, because you're more focused, like you're just on it and you read the mind gym, right? Dude, that's the kind of stuff where you're like, Hey, what can I do? I give you something and you just go complete it. That's the initiative that successful people have. And I've just seen that demonstrated over a consistent period of time for two months. So I, I have no doubt that you're going to be very successful in whatever you do. That's also the type of person that a coach wants on their team. And that's exactly the type of person that you want as a catcher, because you need the consistent, reliable person. They get more plays than anyone else, and they have to be perfect they're held to a way higher standard than even a shortstop. And that's just how it goes. So final question for both of you guys. You said earlier, Cody, for you, your biggest doubt was on whether the feedback would be general or whether it would be specific. But what would you tell yourself? Now I'm able to see the tiny little things that I'm doing. Whereas when I would try to video myself or look at something, I was more looking for the big thing. I wasn't looking for the small thing that was actually causing the whole problem itself. And now I can just almost like go back and be able to look through everything again and be able to see, oh, this is why this wasn't working. It's because of this like small little issue with like foot placement or something. Mike, for you, if you were to coach yourself or another parent that also has the same doubt of like, okay, does this online thing work? And does this work for older kids? What would you say to that? I would definitely endorse it. hundred percent. It's going to work. Like, like I said, I think the model you created creates that daily consistency or even every other day. And it sets up opportunities for that the kids have to journal. So they're mindful of what they just did. And then they have to share that with you. And then the, the feedback, I'm so impressed how quickly you provide feedback every day. And Cody said that the feedback has been awesome. Like he really he did a really good job of translating what he needs to work on. So I, I feel like from any age, it's going to work well. It's probably works better if someone's there to help them. And so it's a great opportunity for friends, family to, to participate in that journey with them. So cool. And props to you for helping and for getting the whole family involved too. I just think that is so cool. That's probably my very favorite part besides you getting an offer from some awesome school that needs a great catcher. That'll be maybe my favorite part. Uh, but seriously, heck of a job. I can't wait to see where you end up playing, what you end up doing. Because the cool thing about this, one of the things that I've learned is that even beyond when baseball ends, relationships continue. At some point, you're going to go work and you're going to be a stud in whatever your job is. And maybe we even do something together then. You never know how all this stuff continues to play out. And it's oftentimes through sport, through competing, through the consistency and the grind and all that kind of stuff that all those character traits that make someone great are formed. That's why, like, for example, Coach Rack and I, we trust each other so much because we played together. We saw each other every day, the consistency of it. And I've seen that from you and I'm rooting for you big time, dude. Thank you. All right, cool. Well, I'll take this. If you're good with it, I'll post it. And uh, hopefully some coaches watch this awesome. and reach out.